so xiaomi makes very good mid-range budget and uh, various categories of smartphones and yeah it makes pretty good budget smartphones as well so and yeah it makes a high-end smartphones as well like the xiaomi the latest xiaomi mi 10 ultra with pretty much high-end specs and at a very good price as well so i have this redmi s2 with me and this box is like very colorful i have this global version with me and yeah at the back there are some specs and redmi s2 gold uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage so all of the specs I will repeat in a while so and yeah let's unbox this thing the uh, Xiaomi Redmi S2 so in the box uh, we have got like nothing paperwork and yeah pretty standard the charging brick uh, USB cable it's like not USB-C uh, because this phone is like not supporting the uh, fast charging so here is the phone and yeah i already unboxed this phone so first of all speaking of the price it was like launched in 2018 with less than 200 bucks and yeah it was like a very good package in this price range so specs it has a 6.9 inch uh, ips lcd screen and with 269 ppi so it's like it's a good screen not bad at all at this price especially and yeah it's pretty bright as well the outdoor visibility is very good and the screen resolution is like a little bit lower than the other smartphones the mid-range smartphones uh, but yeah definitely at this price range it's a very good screen speaking of the design it's like a very beautiful and very good looking smartphone although all of the phone is like made from plastic but yeah it definitely doesn't look like a mid-range or a budget smartphone it's very beautiful design and this camera design is like clearly inspired from the iphone x at that time and at the back there is a fingerprint sensor which is very accurate and very fast so the design wise this phone is very beautiful it looks very good in the hand and speaking of the cameras so yeah you cannot expect more from a less than 200 dollars phone so at the back there are two cameras 12 megapixels and uh, 5 megapixels and the front camera is like 16 megapixels and the front camera is like uh, below average as well so and yeah like at this price range so you cannot expect uh, very high-end specs uh, from such a smartphone uh, but yeah it takes overall good photos not bad at all so at the top there is a headphone jack and a infrared sensor and at the bottom there is the speaker and the speaker is like loud but yeah the sound quality is like not good it's below average as well and speaking of the battery life the battery life is very good it's excellent the standby time is very good it has a 3080 milliampere battery and you can get four to six hours of screen on time depending on your usage patterns Speaking of the software, so this phone is like not upgradable to Android 10 as it was out in 2018 and yeah many Android phones are like a little bit behind in terms of the softwares uh, just because of the Android except the Google phones, the Pixel phones. Uh, but yeah it's upgraded to the android 9 and yeah still it's getting the security updates from the xiaomi and speaking of the performance so it has the qualcomm snapdragon 625 chipset it was like a very good chipset at that time and yeah today as well but yeah it's like a budget or a mid-range chipset uh, but yeah it's very fast it's very power efficient and it handles pretty much everything very confidently and it handles the day-to-day -day tasks very easily and the games play very smoothly although there's a little bit lag in the high-end games overall the performance is like very good it's not slow there's like no problem at all using this phone and speaking of other things so it has pretty much all the necessary sensors in it and it has the fm radio the screen recorder and it has this mi remote which uses the infrared sensor to use this phone as a remote to control various appliances it comes with 3 and 4 gigabytes of RAM with 32 and 64 gigabytes of storage which is expandable it's dual sim supported so overall it's a very complete package in this price range and yeah you can do pretty much everything with this phone uh, but yeah all the specs and the components are like uh, of the budget smartphone so at this price range i will definitely recommend this thing and for those who have a very tight budget so i will definitely recommend this phone and yeah you can check out all the other xiaomi phones as well which are released in 2020 and that's pretty much it and thank you so much for watching and please be sure to subscribe and hit that like and see you in the next one